Hi, Dave Jones here again. We're going to look at the uh, the next series in the um, the theory lessons as they pertain to the guitar. Um, this one is we're going to look at the the blues scale. Now, the blues scale is a six note scale. Um, technically speaking, it uses uh, the notes from the major scale and emits a couple of notes and adds one. It can get a bit. But the, the, the degrees that they use is the first, the third, the fourth, the fifth, and the seventh. But the third and the seventh are flattened, and it adds an extra note called what's called a flat five note. Now, don't get too hit up on this. The only reason I said that is because if you were writing the blues scale, like I say, I want to pertain this, this wants to pertain to the guitar, not to doing written exams or anything like that. If you were writing a blues scale, you would give it a major key signature and you would put accidentals like the, like the sharps and flats, you, you'd flatten certain notes um, to be correct if you were writing music. Playing on the guitar, on the other hand, if you want to just, um, it's probably easier to think of this scale as a minor pentatonic scale. So the degrees, if you uh, looked at the other sheet of the minor pentatonic scale, is one, flat three, four, five, flat seven, and eight. Um, it's probably easier to look at as a minor pentatonic scale with the addition of a flat five. So if you were playing, I hope you know these scales, but if you're playing a minor pentatonic, you'd have one, flat three, four, um, five, flat seven, eight. The flat, that's the five. So the flat, you flatten the note by going back a semitone. That's the flat five. So, so that'll give you an A blue scale. Now the blue scales I'm looking at because we looked at the pair of uh, major keys is the C blue scale, which has uh, C as the root note, E as the flat third, E flat sorry as the flat third, F as the fourth, G flat as the flat five, G as the five, B flat as the flat seven, and then C. Um, a G blue scale equally would have G as the uh, as the root, B flat as the flat third. Fourth would be C, fifth would be D flat. Sorry, flat five would be D flat. Fifth would be D, flat seventh would be F, and the root again, the eighth would be G. The D blue scale would have D, flat third would be F, fourth would be G, flat five A flat, uh, five A, flat seventh C, and then the eighth would be the octave would be D. And the F blue scale would have the notes F, A flat, flat third, B flat the fourth, C flat, I'll talk about that in a minute, as the flat fifth, C as the fifth, E flat as the flat seventh, and then F as the octave or the eighth. Now, I know I've said to you before, and if you've been following these lessons, there's no sharp or flat between B and C and E and F, so there's no such thing as B sharp or C flat. But musical law has been made up, or musical theory has been made up as it's gone along and evolved and progressed, really. Um, so in a blue scale, in, a, in a, an F blue scale, you have to call the flat five C flat. It's a B note. But you can't call it B, because B is four notes, four letter names. If you just count on your fingers, you count the F as one. F, G, A, B. So that the B in the, in the F major scale or, or the F blue scale, it, the fourth degree, is B flat. So if you call it B, that would be, I know this sounds confusing, but that would be a sharp four, a raised fourth, not a flat five, because B is four letter names away from F. So F, G, A, B, B flat, in, in the case of F. So the fifth, in the case of F, is C. F. G, A, B, flat, C. So to flatten the fifth degree, you have to call it C flat. So you will find, as we progress, in some keys you do get weird notes that only if you want to be grammatically correct, you would call it like if you were, if you were in a guitar exam, electric guitar exam, RGT exam, and the examiner asked you what the flat five note of the flattened fifth or diminished fifth, it can be called uh, in uh, later on, of an F scale was diminished diminished fifth of F, a diminished fifth interval above F, and you said B. 
you wouldn't get full marks for it. That would be what's called an enharmonic misspelling. In other words, calling a note, it's the right note. You, if, if he asked you to play the note, you play that note. As long as you don't name it, it would be the right note. But it wouldn't be the correct answer. You'd have to call it C flat because five letters above F is the letter C. <clears throat> so a fifth is C. The diminishing or flat five going back a semitone has to be C flat. I know it really sounds confusing, <clears throat> but you'll get there in the end if you're um, if you want to, sort of thing. So now the reason <clears throat> for the blue scale having that flat five in it is it gives um, if you're improvising, it's not a great note to land on. For example, if I played just just because most people learn. <laughs> Blues is in A first, just, just to give you a musical example. An A7 chord, that's the flat five, E flat of any A. It's not a particularly nice note. You wouldn't want to finish a phrase on it. You wouldn't, you wouldn't want to play it. And that's your phrase finished. Because it, it's a very clashy note. But it does sound cool if you use it, but don't finish on it. Your ears should tell you that anyway. So I've used it and come off of it. So it gives you that bluesy edge and can sound jazzy sometimes as well. It's a, it's a nice note to use, but it's not a note in guitar improvisation because I want to pertain this, like I say, I keep saying back to the guitar. It's not a great note to finish it, but your ears will tell you that anyway. So. Yeah, so the blue scale though is, it's a bit of a confusing animal if you want to, um, you know, like I say, with the C flat in the F blues and all that sort of stuff. But if you just want to take it as a, a at the moment, <clears throat> if you're not doing any written theory exams, just take it as a, a, a minor pentatonic scale. So degrees of the minor pentatonic scale, as I said in the previous video, is, is, is from the, the natural minor scale with the, uh, the two and the six omitted. So you've got one, um, flat three, four, five, flat seven, and eight. And the blue scale has an additional note of a flat five. So it's a semitone between the two. So if we play the C blue scale. And that's the best way to think of it as pertains to, to the guitar. If you know your minor pentatonic scale, you stick a note in, in between the four and the five. And that's the flat five. scale. If you were doing a written exam it would be different, you'd have to do it from the parent major scale and, and put accidentals in, but we're not doing that. So, okay, so I hope you found it useful and you're getting there, like I say, you re review these things periodically, go back, do it as part of your playing as well and things will become more clear as we go along. So I'll see you again sometime.